Hey, hey, so I just thought I make another personal video about what's going on these days. So I just came back from bouldering. I think I'm gonna do that once a week. Um, it's pretty cool because, yeah, it's very um, meditative and you really can shut down and forget everything. <laughs> Because you know, <laughs> right now it's a little bit stressful because I'm looking for a job and I had an interview but um, it got cancelled because they closed their shop. I think it's because um, the coronavirus cases are getting uh, more and more. So yeah, when there's a new lockdown now, or there might be a lockdown now, um, then it's gonna be super tricky for me to find something. I also, I was supposed to work on the Christmas market, I think I, I got the job kind of, but then, um, yeah, the Christmas market will probably not happen. So it's tricky these days to kind of find something. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not that super stressed, but it, this is definitely something that you um, can be so stressed about. And you know, I spend so much time to like write applications and send them out, um, calling different people and yeah, let's see if something in a bakery works. Um, I don't know. Uh, I have to wait the next days and then see how that goes. Um, so yeah, it can be stressful as a student or <laughs> as in general as a human being on this planet Earth because we, <laughs> we created this trade game which makes no sense at all. There's so much bureaucracy bullshit and you know, people waste so much time, like it just hinders, it blocks people from doing stuff which is interesting or important or relevant. Um, yeah, because you have to deal with all the all the crap that we have in this world. Um, so yeah, but um, on a positive note, like um, the university or the study which I'm gonna do seems to be interesting. Um, it's about the climate and the atmosphere on planet Earth. It's about the water system on planet Earth and the vegetation. So. Yeah, geography seems to be very interesting. Of course, that's the um, part about our Earth, but then there's also human geography, which is about our society. Uh, I don't know much about that yet, but um, I'm gonna learn the next days. And um, yeah, so it seems interesting but it's also only gonna be online so everything is just basically a powerpoint presentation and um, either with the prof or without so um, yeah i mean we are not gonna go to the university itself it's just <laughs> and everything is online and we're just gonna join some meetings some online meetings um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is and um, apart from that, there was or there are currently in the moment um, some critical introduction weeks, not organized by the university of course, but organized from students and yeah, I have been to some events, so basically there are workshops or discussions or protests or um, lectures or something like that and um, yeah I've been to some of those but they only talk about capitalism as the problem and yesterday for example I was at the at the book presentation about an author and then he just um, yeah it was interviewed kind of and what he's proposing is some sort of green socialism and the book is about capitalism as the problem. But you know, I'm just like, the, all these isms confuse people. I mean, capitalism is just trade, that's what it is. It's like, in Facebook, I'm either trading my data and get access to Facebook, or not, like in Mastodon and Friendica. So all these isms are really confusing people, I think. And I also talked with a girl yesterday and she said, yeah, 
it was kind of very theoretical and very complex she felt like and yeah I think it's hard to understand all of that I mean I, I kind of got what he is saying and also that so many things are fucked up and, <laughs> um, and also I mean they are going or they are proposing somehow he was talking also about commons or commonly used resources like Wikipedia and that that's, that's the way kind of but I think this trade thing and trade free makes it just so to the point, if you know what I mean. And then they are also um, like suggesting or proposing to go on the street and protest. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it has become quite popular with the Fridays for Future movement and Black Lives Matter. I'm sure you've heard about that. But is it gonna change things? Like, I don't know. Like making a sign and drawing something on that or put a statement and then demanding something from politicians or, yeah, I don't know, I think that's not gonna work. Imagine that all human beings on this planet Earth would go on the street and would, <laughs> with, a, with a sign <laughs> holding up, <laughs> and saying um, or proposing yeah we want world peace is that gonna work of course not so um, yeah is it gonna work if everybody goes on the street to make awareness about trade as, an, as the main problem and um, demanding for trade for goods and services or raising awareness about that i don't know it's just about um, But um, yeah, I'm, I highly doubt this form of activism. And I've also seen the documentary from Vipro about the protests in Hong Kong, where they are so confused that they said they want to fight against the Chinese government, but they can't. So they wanted to fight against the Hong Kong government, but they are hiding behind the police. So they ended up, or they end up, <laughs> Um, fighting against the police and <laughs> I think to be honest everyone is fighting against the Chinese government and then since we can't really fight the Chinese government so we are fighting the Hong Kong government and then the Hong Kong government is hiding behind the Hong Kong police so easiest is just to fight against the Hong Kong police I think it's just imagine like it's such a waste of resources. Imagine if all those people who go on the street and fight against the police would, I don't know, create educational material and trade free goods and services. That would be, I mean, yeah, so much better. Huh? But yeah, I'm just trying now here to kind of do what I can do. Um, I'm also sharing our trade free directory to people. Um, some find it interesting and maybe some are getting into it, I don't know, I don't expect anything. Um, but yeah, I just do what I can, I like, I also enjoy doing my videos, so I'm gonna continue those. And I also got the microphone with the USB plug now. So that's super cool and probably the quality is gonna, the quality of the audio is gonna be better. Um, and else, what else did I wanted to say? Yeah, that there are little bit ups and downs, you know, sometimes you feel like the world is so fucked up and everything is a mess and what can you do as a human being and yeah, you have these kind of depressive thoughts maybe. But then I was just bouldering and now I came back and I just take it a bit more easy now and also think like I'm just this one human being on this planet Earth. I'm doing what I can and that's it. But I also yeah also wanna do this bouldering thing once a week or so. And um, One last thing I wanted to share is I've visited a hackerspace in Leipzig 
and it was kind of cool so you can just go there and use the tools that they have there and you can make something create something um, seem to be cool people there i'm gonna go there tomorrow probably and um, yeah there's this chaos computer club in germany and it's about <laughs> they're saying they are intergalactic world savers kind of so i don't know <laughs> i just want to get to know them and um, yeah meet with some of those people and see what they are thinking what they are doing but yeah i think that was it for this video i do not want to make this too long um, i look forward to make the next video for the elephant in the room and see you then in that video as always take care and much love